What's up, IndyCar Diecast Collectors? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and today I am joined with my good buds, Mr. Uh, Caleb Henderson and Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> I should have heard Brian trying to speak Spanish before we came on. Oh Christ! Uh, well, I, 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 oh, give me a break, Lewis. <laughs> you gotta have some fun soon to diecast views. I mean, what's so entertaining of counting down in English? Like three, two, one. <laughs> I had to spice things up a little bit. Even better, I actually did it in reverse order, so I counted from yeah, one to next three. Time you should do it in French. French? Oh, okay. I, <laughs> I'll probably do it on the pageant review, okay? I'll have to ask my sister. <laughs> yeah, well, this has been the quiet introduction, but with that note, guys, today we're we'll going to be reviewing a die cast I recently picked up from not Gutsware. Don't kill me, Rob. <laughs> it's from Plan B Cells that I got along with all the other three NASCAR die casts I did a uh, Review, uh, recent reviews on as I can't talk English right now. God help me. <laughs> today it's going to be on the Santushi as. PT, or Paul Tracy likes to call him, uh, Santino Ferrucci's 2020 Sealmaster Honda Delora for Dale Coin Racing. My God, this is an awesome looking die cast, especially for another first time driver that we got in the 164 scale for Indy cars. I mean, heck, that's pretty awesome. I mean, when I heard the news that Santino Ferrucci was going to take over the 18, I was like, my first reaction was, what happened to Seabass? Where, where, where's Bourdais going? Because <laughs> Bourdais actually won in this car a few times. So, but whatever though, I mean, Santino Ferrucci definitely has, uh, he's definitely a guy to watch out for for this year, especially on the ovals. I mean, I wouldn't really consider him a factor for the 500 this year, but I don't know. Anything's possible, man, during that race. <laughs> but yeah, we got our... possible in 2020. For real. I mean, it, it would be more possible if Hinchcliffe or Pagano become a Indy 500 champion. I wouldn't mind that at all. <laughs> But there's the back if you guys want to see that and read all that. I mean, I don't got time to read all that for you guys because, you know, I just, I don't know, I have a life. <laughs> but anyways, guys, let's go and kick off this die cast review and the official unboxing on the Santushi 2020 car. All right, guys, we got this die cast out of its box. And what are you laughing at, Lewis? <laughs> and when go means go, I say go. <laughs> So instead of saying three, two, one, I just said go, and now this this, this sob is laughing his ass off. So, <laughs> uh, this is what happens when you have your best buds on diecast reviews. I mean, it's just chaos waiting to happen. <laughs> but before we start this diecast review, guys, we're gonna take a nice, lovely look at the trading car that comes with this. I mean, yeah, Santino, man, uh, that's some. I'm uh, <laughs> not in favor of the face being on the car this year. <laughs> I actually don't mind it. It actually gives the drivers a lot more personality. So that's just me. But uh, I will say, though, uh, you know, Santino has an interesting haircut. We'll say that. Uh, it looks like his hair looks like ramen noodles. <laughs> oh, uh, a nice little fun fact as well. Uh, my good buddy, Derek Lewis, him and Santino Frucci, same the shame, uh, shame, they share the same birthday. There we go. I could talk English now. <laughs> But yes, that's Lance, so so congratulations, uh, Lewis. You you are at the same age as Santino Ferrucci. Isn't it kind of odd having a driver that's younger than you or the same age as you, and he's racing? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well, welcome to my world, buddy. Welcome to my world. I mean, heck, I'm practically almost the same age as Chase Elliott. <laughs> so, God. Holy crap. I, I, <laughs> if you guys didn't think I, uh, we are all feeling old yet, well, now... We feel old now. <laughs> but yeah. But this paint scheme, man. Well, I shouldn't say paint scheme because it's an indie car. This livery. Again, don't get on my ass, Rob. <laughs> this livery, man. It's basically just like last year's. Um, it looks a little more duller, but it still looks nice, though. I mean, I prefer the red numbers, um, but the black looks nice. But this car straight up looks like a, a construction site. <laughs> it literally looks like it. You know, when you go through a construction site and you see these signs, it's like, oh, danger, slow down, or you get a double fine or some shit like that. <laughs> oh, Lord. But yeah, I'm loving the detail on this. Uh, the arrow screen, of course, looks pretty cool. I mean, there's no decals on it. Oh, crap. Rob was right. There's no NTT logo on this. 
<laughs> where the Indy, where the IndyCar Series logo is, there's no NTT logo on it. Oof. <laughs> uh i might criticize lionel a lot but green light uh that's not acceptable you see <laughs> i'm gonna have to i don't know what uh, i'm gonna have to shame them on this diecast review <laughs> but yeah uh I, I i like this diecast a lot guys i mean as you guys know the seal master car from last year that was a hot seller so it's not surprising that green light would do that again because you know this the sea bass car from last year sold like hot cakes especially during that uh, the month of may God, I can't believe we got the Indy 500 this year in August. Well, hopefully in August, um, with how everything's been going. But um, yeah, unfortunately, I got some sad news to break you guys to break to you guys. Uh, I'll probably make an outset on my community post and all my Instagram and Twitter. Um, unfortunately, your boy OBB is not going to be attending the Indy 500 for this year. Um, it's unfortunate. I mean, but whatever though. I mean, that'll give me some opportunities to go to some other races. So um, hopefully, Watkins Glen for the NASCAR race. But, I don't know, I, I, I will make a statement about that momentarily. But, yeah, that's quite the bummer. And, I don't know, maybe I'll, I, I, maybe I'll know, I'll, I'll <laughs> get on the Discord or whatever and we'll watch the 500. Or I'll watch with my good buddies. Because <laughs> it's going to be hard watching the 8500 not being there. Uh, especially, I swear, if Hinchcliffe or Pagano wins the 500 and I'm not there. Oh, I am going to be pissed. <laughs> But uh, now, enough of me talking. Um, heck, uh, let's get let's get our good buddies on here and see what they got to say about this diecast. I mean, uh, what do you guys think about this car, guys? I mean, I I, I got to admit, it is quite a nice looking diecast. I will say that. Uh, yeah, I agree, and uh, it's pretty much the same as last year, besides like the numbers plus the aero screen, and plus the aero screen. I think it makes these diecasts look even better this year. I absolutely 110% agree with that, Lewis. The aero screens do look nicer. Um, even though there's no logos on the aero screen besides, like, the, this little black uh, decal banner that we got. But it still looks cool. I mean, that's still pretty cool. That uh, This absolutely blows me away right here. That they put, you know, Frucci's name on the headrest. I mean, that is cool. I mean, I think they were going to do that because, you know, the I guess it's like a separate piece of the aero screen or something, or they mold it in, but oh, yeah. they've done an amazing job with this aero screen, man. Even the 118, I finally got some 118s, which I'll be doing a review on the Snap-on uh, promo from Simon Pagano. Greenlight killed it this year, man. They absolutely killed it with the aero screen. I didn't think it was going to look right, but after reviewing a, a few of these suckers, I got to admit, they absolutely just blew me away. <laughs> but now it's time to start the best part of this video which is the comparison as you guys can tell there is a huge difference with the 2019 and 2020 cars i'm looking at you aerial screen <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean like my good friend lewis said i mean the red numbers definitely look a lot more better but it still looks nice uh we still got the the, the this little face thing right here i mean uh <laughs> that's pretty cool that uh, that's actually something that um actually jimmy vassar and uh his team actually has done for quite a while now um so that's pretty cool that they have continued that uh they even did it with the old kv racing cars as well so that that, that i don't know gives this car a lot more personality especially santino man he is Right up there with Rossi as an aggressive driver. I mean, we can all agree Rossi's an aggressive driver, but Santushi's not far from it. <laughs> That's why they give him that nickname. But, yeah, I mean, but the million-dollar question of the day is, will this kid win a race this year? I got a feeling, yeah, and it's going to be on oval. I mean, this guy absolutely shines on ovals, but I don't know. He could probably prove us wrong, and he'll win on a road course um, or maybe on a street course, which, you know, the only street course we're going to be running this year is at St. Petersburg, so... What a great time to be alive. <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, if you guys didn't manage to get the Seal Master car from last year, I strongly recommend getting this die kiss because I think it's going to be a hot seller, even though this is a controversial driver. I will say that. But, you know, I think he's definitely proved his point. And you know what? I'm wishing the best of luck for St. Tushi for this year. I mean, he's starting to grow on to me now. I think he's definitely, um, he, I think a lot of people have forgiven him after the whole incident that happened. Um with um with, with him driving uh you know an f2 and whatever but um <laughs> well, I'm, not, I'm still not too sure what that incident was but... yeah all i know is that you know stay on the road and don't text and drive <laughs> it's common sense <laughs> uh apparently that's what happened but yeah hoping the best for this kid he's gonna win a race and for being your indy 500 rookie of the year i think this guy definitely is going to shine for this year, along with Cole Herta and Pat Award, and basically the next generation of IndyCar diecast, because, yeah, uh, we got ourselves a lot of great young guys who are coming out, and, you know, 
basically going to be new legends in the sport as we got guys like Tony Kanaan and Elio and sooner or later down the road, Scott Dixon will probably hang up the helmet, but that will be for a while now, but you know, <laughs> that guy's been racing for a while now, but still kicking ass. But anyways, guys, this is OBB, the Diecast News Guy. Thanks for watching this Diecast review of the Santushi 2020 Sealmaster Honda Delara for Dale Coin Racing. If you guys enjoy this Diecast review, a lot of other Diecast reviews, what the hell are you waiting for? Subscribe today so you guys stay up to date on the latest Diecast reviews provided by me and my friends. As, uh, yep. Once again, I got to thank uh, Mr. Henderson and Mr. Lewis for hopping on board unintentionally. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm definitely getting your ass on a Hooters car. I will say that when I review another Hooters <laughs> review. Maybe when the Night Owl car gets released. <laughs> All right. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and head off. Probably, I don't know, take a nice little nap and question my life after this doing this diecast review. <laughs> so, so long for now, everybody. Okay.